I was just driving by this area here by Edenville Dam. I was actually just coming from filming an update on the steam shovel with Michael and I had the GoPro and the drone with me so I figured you know I might as well stop by here and give you guys a quick update a quick view of what things look like here at Edenville Dam. I also did film over on the Tobacco River Dam. You can see the water level is very low right now. We're actually at a uh, drought here in Michigan and the river to the south of the dam is looking very low as well. Water is still flowing through uh, the center of the dam. Let me step to the side here a little bit further so you can kind of see through there. So you can see a little bit of that. It'll be easier to see from the drone. Can't go any closer um, currently. Uh, this dam is shut down the public access is shut down so that they're not allowing fishing here so I have to remain on the private property that I have permission to film from but again we'll be able to see that a lot closer with the drone I'm gonna head on down here to the south show you guys a little bit more of the work that has been occurring down here Sanford Falls used to be in that area right there uh, you can no longer see that it's been all filled in Big difference though, oh, look at that eagle right there taking off. Always a ton of eagles in this area. Seems like they catch fish pretty easily in the river and come up in this area to eat them. But as I was saying, Edenville Falls has been filled in and probably about a month ago now, they went through and seeded this entire area. You can see it looks a lot greener than it used to. Even during this Michigan drought that we're having right now, it's still trying to hold on. Also been a ton of cleanup work in the park area. You can see down there to the south. I'm not going to walk all the way down there. It'd be much easier for me to just go ahead and fly the drone down there. Behind tree service came in, cleaned up all those stumps, all the trees that were in that park area, ground them up. And that area is looking a lot better. I'm glad they didn't cut down these two. I believe they're oak trees. I'm not sure if they're both oak trees, but those survived the Edenville embankment failure. You can see this used to be exactly where the earthen embankment used to be, and it failed right here at this point, sending all of Wixom's Lake water rushing in a straight path right towards that M30 bridge bridge held up fine just washed away a few of the approaches on the left hand side the east side of that bridge very surprised that these trees did not get wiped out like the rest of this forest did around it all right let's go ahead i'll throw the drone up in the air show you a little bit of that video and i also show you a little bit of the video of uh, from when they were out here planting this grass as well as doing some of the cleanup in that area down there I was going to include some of the uh, shredding, some of that tree cleanup work that was happening to the south of the dam, but this video is getting a little bit long, so as you may have already seen, I split that off into its own video that's already been posted. So if you wanna see a lot of that cleanup work that's happened to the south of the river that you're able to see in this view, uh, make sure you go back and watch uh, the last video that I already posted. Um, but for this video, like I said, you can see some of that work where they were going ahead, uh, laying down, it looks like a lot of straw in this area, and then going ahead and planting this grass seed. So there might be a little bit of raw video at the end of this video if people want to go ahead and watch uh, this in a little bit more detail. I'm not sure what uh, this machine is called that is attached to the tractor. It looks like it just has a three-point hitch. Uh, you throw a straw bale in it and it probably just goes ahead and grinds it up and spits it out the chute. Uh, probably fairly similar uh, to a leaf vacuum that goes ahead and sucks up leaves and then grinds them up and spits it out into chute as well. It looks like they just go ahead, looks fairly simple that that straw bale uh, is just getting uh, carried over to the right hand side in this view and then fed into a shredder and then gets spit out the trough. Looks like they went ahead and covered the whole area in straw after they went ahead and planted it. You might be able to see the other tire tracks uh, to the right of the screen. This machine that they are using to plant the grass, we will see in a little while. It's actually behind the drone right now. And then the next couple of drone videos I will be jumping into will be uh, the present day when I was out there filming 
uh, recently here in July. I was very interested in this process because right now in our process of our life, we're building our dream home and actually looking at uh, installing the irrigation system. It's going to be a huge irrigation system. Our yard is going to be about 350 by 350 feet. I'm not sure, I didn't calculate how many acres that is, but it's quite a big yard. And uh, yeah, the irrigation system for it is pretty massive. And also looking into grass seed, what grass seed we want to grow. Probably going to be using um, some pure strands, five different species of some Kentucky bluegrass. I know those don't do as well right now, especially in the Michigan drought that we're in. But hopefully the irrigation system that we are feeding from the pond will help. So you can see this machine attached behind this tractor down here. I'm not sure if this is what they were using to plant the grass seed. I don't know if I really got a great view of it or if this was just going ahead and sowing those seeds into the ground a little bit more. But I'm sure you guys will let me know in the comments down below. It almost just looks like a little bit of a disc. Um, not sure if that's actually planting seed because I don't ha see any hoppers on the back of it that would be uh, depositing those into those rows. I'm going to go ahead and jump into present day video now and save a little bit more of this raw video for the end. So make sure you stay tuned if you want to see that. So here is a present day shot behind Edenville Dam. You can see it right here in the center of the screen. Drone is probably around 100 feet in altitude facing towards the southwest and this was filmed on July 6th. So depending on when I go ahead and post this, I'm not sure how long it will take, but I've been trying to crank through a lot of these videos, uh, get a lot of these edited, but as you already know, as I've already mentioned, uh, we're probably in the process of moving to our house uh, by the time this video will be coming out. So a very busy time in our life. You can see all that water going through that riprap though. That has did a great job filtering out a lot of that sediment, keeping that sediment from just flowing downriver here and blocking off the river channel, filling in the river channel that the guys from Fisher Contracting did such a great job uh, excavating out. You can see that area at the bottom of the screen where there's a little bit of rise in the water. That is where the old sill uh, used to be and then down here is where they have a little bit more of that rip wrap. Uh, this is the area that they used to travel through the river to get to the other side. I'm going to go down river. You can kind of see down here a little bit and then I'm going to spin the drone around and we'll take a look at the back side of the powerhouse. There were some barn swallows in this area you could see right there that were not very happy with the drone being here. Uh, so I didn't stay in this area too long as they were getting uh, pretty aggressive to the drone, but then I will go ahead and we'll fly over to see how the area where they were just planting that grass seed is growing. You can see the powerhouse though is all boarded up. I know some people will ask because they ask in every single video, is hydropower in these dams future? And the answer is no, there is no hydropower planned uh, for any of these dams that the Four Lakes Task Force has delegated authority over. And the reason being is that it's just not really feasible uh, to actually go ahead and bring these dams up to today's standards, have them producing electric power, and have them be able to make any money in their useful life. Even down there at Sanford Dam, which was the one that produced the most hydroelectric power, uh, would only be equivalent to about two windmills. Needless to say, this would also extend of uh, the lake refill date by many, many years. So it'd be many years before the lakes were allowed to refill. This area right here is actually where Edenville Falls used to be. You can't even tell anymore, but there's a small creek drainage that comes in from the left-hand side of the screen where all this riprap is located uh, just to stop a little bit more of that erosion from happening uh, before this goes ahead and enters back into the river channel. Uh, right in the center bottom of the screen used to be where the dike was, that plug that was blocking the old river path uh, that the new river path kind of created when uh, the Edenville Earthen Embankment washed down this way. Again, the water level is very low right now. You can see those two trees at the bottom of the screen that survived uh, the Earthen Embankment failure, though. 
but over here on the left hand side of the screen is where you may have been able to see the last video where the guy was trying to get upriver in the boat and really ground the propeller though very rocky area now the drone is facing back towards the north probably gained altitude up to 200 feet in altitude now maybe 300 feet uh, flying back towards Edenville Dam and you can see the lake bed up to the north behind the dam and just how lush and green it is up there this area right here at the bottom of the screen is where they are planting a lot of that grass uh, seeding it and then covering it with that straw Again, it's not very green right now. Uh, that's mainly because we're in such a drought right now. It's been quite a while since we got any substantial rainfall. Here's a great shot of the steel sheet pile cutoff wall in the riprap on each side of that wall though. And now this shot is up even a little bit further to the north. You can see how lush and green that lake bed truly is and you can see a few of the trails that people have brush hogged uh, through that and a couple people look like they're mowing it at a little bit lower height as well. I'm going to leave you guys with a little bit more of this raw video as I said so make sure you go down below hit that like button make sure you're subscribed to the channel and leave any questions and comments you have down below. Really appreciate you guys staying up with these videos and watching all the progress that has been happening here on the dams. And until the next one, I'll see you then. Thanks for watching and make sure you hit the thumbs up button if you enjoyed this video. Also make sure you subscribe so you don't miss the next videos I will be posting and leave your questions, comments, and suggestions below. As always, I just want to give a massive thanks to the people who support me on Patreon. Never underestimate the value of your contribution to keeping this channel going. Thank you.